jQuery can select any element in the document object model or the DOM. When I say any element, I mean any and every element that you can think of. And it's not limited to HTML tags, IDs, and classes either. You can actually select multiple elements simultaneously, pseudo classes, elements with specific string of text, attributes, and much more. To keep you from being totally overwhelmed by the insane amount of selectors available to you in jQuery, I'll demonstrate the most common and useful selectors and then give you some additional reading material so that you can reference and experiment with other more obscure selectors out there. What's great about the jQuery syntax is that it essentially uses the same syntax as CSS when selecting elements. So for example, if you wanted to select multiple elements in jQuery, you'd simply code something like this. So here we're selecting the level one heading, level two, and level three headings separated by comma. The same as what you would do in CSS. Okay, so let's jump into the most common types of selectors. But first I'll give you a little quick rundown here. Uh, I created an HTML file called selectors.html. You can go ahead and pause the video if you want and copy what I've coded here. It's just a, a bunch of HTML because I want to be able to select uh, this HTML in different um, in different ways using jQuery. Uh, I'm not going to spend time going through to show you all the different uh, HTML tags that I coded because that's not the within the scope of this section. You can go ahead and pause and copy, or you can of course just uh, download the selectors file, uh, the HTML file from the course files, uh, from the final course files that you downloaded at the beginning of this section, and then you could copy paste it in your own selectors.html file so you can get up to speed, or of course you could just watch the video uh, and just kind of watch and learn, I guess. So I'm going to jump back into the script.js, and I'm going to show you the most common types of selectors. So First and foremost, there are the basic HTML element, ID, and class selectors. So here, we'll select the level 2 heading, level 3, and the level 4 heading. And then I'm just going to do some CSS, the CSS method here. And I'll just say border, and then solid, one pixel red. And then if I save this and view this in the browser, you'll see the level two, level three, and level four headings are selected and given the border, uh, the red border style that jQuery performed. Now another selector that you can do is the uh, just a, an ID selector. So I'll select the, a div with the ID of container. And you can see this is the same as CSS, how you do that. And I'll just copy the same CSS method. And now we're selecting the div with the ID of container. You can also select classes. So I'll select the paragraph with the class of lead. And again, I'll paste the same method. There we go. And I'm a paragraph tag with the class of lead. You can also use pseudo class selectors similar to CSS. So I'll select the list element with, uh, with the pseudo class of first. And this basically selects the first element, uh, the first li element in uh, on the page. And I'll give it the same CSS. So there we go, we're selecting the first. You can also do last, and you can also do even. So I will go ahead and uh, select the paragraph with the pseudo class of even, and this will select the paragraphs that are even. So here are the even paragraphs because these are other, this is another paragraph tag right here, but that's an odd and same with this one. So uh, we have even and odd paragraph tags. You can also select odd paragraph tags just to show you. So we got the odd paragraph tags. And you can also use descendant selectors, the same as CSS. So let's select a div uh, or an M tag within a div tag and we'll give it the same CSS. So there we go, we have an M tag within a div tag, which is wrapped around uh, these two elements here. You can do the child selector, which looks like this, and that is also CSS. So this basically selects all P elements, which are a direct child of div elements, which means that a grandchild element will not be selected. So it, this won't select all paragraph tags within a div, uh, kind of like a, a descendant selector, it's selecting only child elements. So not descendants, just children. And I'll show you what that looks like. 
So here we're selecting a paragraph tag that is a direct child of the div, which is wrapped around the level three and the paragraph tag. You can also use some special jQuery selectors, such as the header selector, which looks like this. And this selects all headers. So everything uh, from H1 through H6, and that will select all of the headers, one, two, three, and four. Another cool one, uh, another jQuery selector is called the contains selector. And basically it looks like this. And you could just select contains and you need to add a parameter here in strings and it look we will look for text. So I'll say Brad. So it will select all elements which contain the text that I added in this parameter here. So let's see what that does. So it selected not only this paragraph tag at the bottom that has Brad in the text, but it's also selecting the body element and the HTML element. Now I can make it more specific by saying all paragraph tags that contain Brad. And so currently there are none because this I believe is a div element. So let's see what that does. There we go. So it's only selecting the div that contains Brad. And that's how you can use the contains selector in jQuery. Now, like I said, these are not all of the selectors available to you in jQuery. They're just kind of the most common that you would use as a professional web developer. However, there are a whole bunch of selectors and combinations of selectors that you can use. And I'll provide those links in uh, the resources section of this uh, this lecture, but they are going to be the jQuery selectors um, reference here on w3schools.com. And that gives you all the selectors uh, or the most kind of the most common ones, uh, or maybe not most common, but the more than what we just covered in this specific lecture, you can play around with those. You can also play around with their, um, their little tool here where you can click on a specific selector and see what it selects and how it works. Because you can, as you can see here, these, they're quite obscure you know, what you could play around with here. So it's it's really neat uh, and it's a good way for you to practice to see what kind of selectors are available to you. And of course there is the jQuery documentation that lets you uh, learn all, all about the selectors available to you in jQuery. So yeah, I'll provide those as a link and I'll see you in the next lecture.